is we are managers, not owners. And this is where we kind of get messed up. When I, uh, my wife, my family and I were planting a church in Fresno, we were sent out from Southern California. And when we were sent out, I had to go back every month and give a report of how it's going. When I went back, there was this family in the church, they had a second home and they let us stay there. We would go into this home and I would tell my kids, don't touch anything. I'm serious. Don't even sit on that couch. You see how perfect that couch is? I've seen the way you eat. Do not get near it. And we would keep it so nice. You could, when we came in, it might have been dirty, but when we left, it was the cleanest house you've ever seen. We would spend hours on it. You could eat soup off the ground and be totally fine. One time I took a drill, this is not a joke, when I took a drill with me to fix the back fence because I, I didn't mess up the back fence, but I didn't want them to come and see the fence was messed up and think it was me. So I brought a drill to fix a fence at a house I was staying at where my own house it's a ridiculous mess. When it's, when it's your own stuff, it's different. When I use somebody else's stuff, I'm so careful. I don't want to mess it up. And what we're told about this life is that's how we're supposed to be thinking of it. We're not the owner. We're managing God's stuff. He has given us things that we get to manage. And here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. If we're shrewd, we will use God's stuff to better our future. Now that is weird. We can use his stuff. He tells us, be shrewd. Use my stuff to advance your eternal dwellings. Not the future here, but our eternal dwellings. Mm -hmm.